for the anime movie. Yeah. Uh, escape. There we go. All right, everyone, welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian there today, along with... Peace, mighty Lieutenant Rakir, at your service. And welcome back to Hard Space Shipbreaker for our 16th stream of this game. And uh, yeah, last time things slowed down quite a lot with the story. Uh, but I did ask a friend who has played through the game entirely, well, through the, in, through the entirety of its story, and he confirms that, yeah, the story does slow down a lot in the third act. And according to them, we did not lock ourselves into a bad end by failing to repair the ship <clears throat> before we got to this point. So that's at least one fear alleviated. Yeah, and we just got to know it before we started the stream. Yeah, because I forgot to ask, of course. Yeah, I had to <laughs> remind him. Anyways, last time we were working on a javelin, I think. Yep. <clears throat> so we'll have to finish that up. Today's weather report, clear and sunny, with a high of minus 270 degrees. Okay, Bloody heck. So we're, I'm presuming they mean Fahrenheit, but then where the hell is that on the planets? Because it's typically pretty cold in space and everything. Okay, we can actually see the ship down there. Okay, I never really noticed that before. So, wait, does that mean that... Okay, so we, we are... No, what... Okay, now I'm confused. I thought we were being housed in that thing down there, but apparently we're all the way up here. That okay. Probably makes sense. And also, I guess we haven't noticed due to the other spaceship used to block our view for a while. That was on the other end. And yeah, typically I wouldn't, typically we'd be done with a ship in the same day. So there wouldn't be much left to see, but yeah, nice little detail that they showed out. Yeah. I'm guessing we are up somewhere in the the strut part or something, or those those extending bits. I guess yeah, mm. the extending bits. I would guess. Still makes me wonder what the hell the rest of the space is for, since there's only one working dock, or maybe we. Mm -hmm. I'm guessing there's different shifts that go on or such, but they can only be active one at a time for some dumb reason. But they have said that actually they're probably all more around us, for the other ones have been working at the same time as us. Yeah, and they, they can be on the uh, other... Oop, that's the uh, plate coming loose. On the other rigs. Yeah, I like it. Hmm. For all we know, there might be more rigs connected to this one. We just... Yeah, we don't see the other side of this rig. Now, we get a decently... We get a decent view of the other sides. But it... Yeah, there is only one working dock at a time on any... On these things. So... Yeah, again, I just raise a bit of a question of what is in the rest of all of this. Hmm. Again, I guess the, well, the smelters, the disassemblers, and the delivery. Yeah. yeah, just more processing and such beyond, well, the basic stuff that these do. Like, it needs to be uh, packaged together uh, to fit, well, sort of mat what, yeah, the different materials and such, like... Uh, all the nanocarbon getting put together and then into shippable amounts. Ooh, hello. Yeah, it's, and since we're working with spaceships, 
and probably in shifts with uh, someone else. It would make sense for it to be this damn big. Okay. Now, let's get to work on cutting the insides and outsides loose. There. I do hope things start to happen again soon. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm guessing they I'm guessing they kind of started to run out of time and ideas towards the end with all of the chatter. It could also be intentional for like they could probably uh, just run out of ideas of what they could be conversing about. Mm -hmm. But it could also be intentional for they wanted to build up the the tension. Yeah, the atmosphere that it, is <laughs> life sucked before, now it sucks even more. Yeah, this is but this sure does. It, it does work in that way. But it, it does a limit to how you can do it as well. Yeah, it does. Well, it, if you're mo focused mostly on the story, it does get a bit boring then. Yeah, especially when you have these parts that we are while relaxing, just take time. Yeah. This kind of becomes a problem then, when you sort of also go, all right, I've done this, let's see what's next stories. That's yeah. it. And it could also be that we are holding somewhat, uh, yeah, too high, yeah, too high expectations and such. Like we expected, uh, we finished uh, Partisans uh, yesterday, and for like half the game we were expecting, ooh, there to be a part that would play in the uh, in the winter, and then winter finally comes, and it's the final mission. Yeah, though again, we were suspecting that thematically it would make sense to put them to talk about to prepare for the winter. That that would be realistic. Yeah, but also would make you sort of wonder: is there winter the mechanic you should be wondering about or not? Yeah, because that paranoia, which actually worked into us. We had so much food. Yeah, more than we could have ever used in the game. Yeah. But then I also have all the discipline, like... We had only one mission we could use all five people, and one... Yeah, not all five. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> technically not all. But one of, on a very technical level, you had five characters. The only is you had to use the fourth one to carry the fifth. Yeah. So yeah, that was certainly a disappointment with the game. Yeah, not a bad game, but it had some disappointments. Yeah. Okay. Again, I've, one of the things I do suspect is why these kind of games are really niche. Is the, the level designs you will are probably not easy to do. Hmm. Hold on a second. What if we melt these? And like the arrows are also... specifically pointing towards them. Oh, be careful now. But yeah, all the thing I also suspect, especially with the games like the, the Potsdam, is when you put your game in a sort of historical context, like World War II. Yeah, you can't really do too much that would well, too much on the bigger side of uh, things happening. Yeah, like you can still see, you see uh, it is a work of fiction. This is fine. Okay, yeah. But you still that have some limitations. Lot. Hmm. Okay, so. Okay, only now I notice that <laughs> we can just get rid of these corner points and get everything loose from the sides of this. Ooh. It's only been hmm. thinking about for a while. Is is it, are there any tactical games like uh, Commander and uh, Partisan and such that are set in a fantasy setting? Yeah, uh, Commandos probably is. Hmm. The closest I can think of is the pirate version uh, of the uh, the, the, the the pirate game that that uh, Mimi Me Games made, who also made a uh, Blaze of the Shogun. Which we showcased a while back. It's. Or. I think that was the name. I think that was the one, yeah. 
Du, om du kör mot Fantasy Element i Stage 2 någon gång, bud. Det är mig till bevis som uh, Fantasy Element. Yeah, I was talking about the Pirate one. Pirate one, I do remember you speak spook over the might be some undead pirates or something? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure in the trailer that you get shown uh, that some of your, yeah, some of your units can actually teleport. So very much uh, fantasy, yeah. Seeing as well, they half the game, I'm presuming is going to be dealing with a curse, since that's literally in the title or something. Yeah, that one I'm actually curious of. For I'm kind of surprised that most of these real-time tactics game has mostly taken place in well, World War Two. Yeah. This is it's nothing wrong with that. But I also feel like, really? At least it sounds like they want to do me the samurai one and uh, the pirate one. Or trying to at least expand the concept. Um, maybe less the concept, but more the setting or a difference yeah. using a different setting. Yeah, the setting is also somewhat different flavors and all that. Yeah. But I do hope they will be more fantasy as such, since if you do fantasy, you may free up a bit more on the story. Yeah, it can make things more interesting and such. I'll have to look around to see if there is a a, a real-time tactics game that leans a lot more towards fantasy. Yeah, like, again, well, did... real-time tactics is already a bit of a niche. Yeah, mm. a niche that probably may become less of a niche if it gets through more uh, variety, you say so, uh, that. Maybe. It's more that uh, the gameplay style is... Uh, well, the, the, typically the big ones in gaming tend to be like platformers, fighting games, uh, real-time tactics and shooters. And yeah, real-time tactics is just a... A, a flavor that not many people know. I think you meant real-time strategy earlier. Yeah, re real-time strategy, real-time tactics. Yeah. And that should be everything in this thing, except for some minor things. With, uh, with how many indie developers there are? I'm not be surprised if there will be more, especially if this pirate one was wonderful. You did mention the crew be able to teleport around. True, but there's also one thing with that uh, games, well, more with the studio, is that uh, the studio is closing because, well, a niche genre isn't going to see met too many sales. Yeah. Is it sad? Yeah. Yeah, at least they, at least they weren't. Uh, yeah, at least they chose to shut down instead of, uh, yeah, being forced to because they can't pay and such. <clears throat> okay, continuing on with this. So we are talking about the pirate game, right? Yeah, the, the developers of that game are the same ones as ah. the. Uh, the, the samurai slash ninja one that we showcased a while back. Okay, okay. 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 Yeah. I'm still looking forward to it. For I have been curious is, is to see how that Nietzsche ni will work with things like magic. Like how mm. will one balance around that uh, mechanic or even mm. implement that mechanic in a balanced manner. Okay. <sighs> Mm. Oop, that broke off something. I could see one doing the mistake of, uh, all right, I just teleport here. Really? And see that they teleport into a room full of uh, enemies you didn't know were there. I'm pretty sure you at least need line of sight. Yeah, or something like that. Okay. But I think, uh, but I think we can agree, when it comes to teleporting, blink and such, it's not as not always as OP as people will believe. But you can do a lot of mistakes when you're doing those kind of tricks. Yeah. Like especially when friend... there's a cooldown. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that is where I just meant in general concept, like, alright, you blinked away from a blow. But without realizing you blinked on top of a mine or something like that. <laughs> like 
is definitely a skill you need to be very aware where you put yourself on. Yeah. No, let's see. AKA is a uh, magic trick you should not use in panic. <laughs> well, that is probably one of those spells that can. Yeah, in panic, you could put yourself in even more danger, like on something that is dangerous. Oh, you okay, stop me to. I'm getting Have out a before that freezes me. Miss fire, like here. Okay. I couldn't I pick that up? See that pickups and did, did somehow the key get removed or something? Let's see. Uh, miscellaneous. No. Uh, look up. Miscellaneous then, helmet lights. Mm -hmm. No, in yeah, in okay. Weird. Why can't I pick them up? Okay. Are we having a bug? <laughs> hmm. Okay, Bart doesn't want them. Wait, Coolen Caster mine. Yeah, that was the one I I broke earlier. It, it probably just finally gave up. Okay. Hmm. Okay, can I? Hmm. Let me check something. Is there something that I didn't know in here? Like, can we pull those things out and we can only have a, a certain amount of them in our inventory or something? Let's see. Uh, technically, no tool modes. Raw Let's see. What was that? No. Uh, what was the button for this again? Let's see. Button mapping. Mm -hmm. All of that. Grapple, retract beam, no. Tethers, cancel tethers, um, scanner. Hmm. Ah. No. Okay. Weird. Or is the game glitching out because it doesn't? It, because I didn't pick these up last time or something? Hmm. Odd. What indeed? Yeah, they're only a small thing, anyways. Okay, this one is a whole lot less small. Okay, off to the sides. Uh, did a friend mention for how long it's gonna be uh, uh, slow? Uh, no, they didn't to avoid potential spoilers. Uh, makes sense. I just hope something starts happening soon. Like, I remember we started streaming this, I was very skeptical. So I felt like, uh, is this really a good game for, again, not for one but I feel like this story will end up making us very angry. But it does allow us time to talk. It makes yeah. us a little bit too much time to talk, and they end up having a bit of a lack to talk about. Yeah. And also yeah. felt like it could be a very, very slow game. And I bet I was right on that part, because I didn't expect on uh, this manner. Yeah, that the story would slow down this much. Okay, let's move this thing out of the way. Hmm. Actually, I probably should just start sending those in there as well. Since they're all free. What have we here? Another asteroid shard. Bit of material. Okay. You go there. I don't care about the lights. Okay. Ooh. 
All right, I'm going to need to get them off of these things. Or can I cut those free? I'm not seeing any cutting points. Okay. Either way, I can send these down. And then once the upper half of the shell is gone, we can easily move the other ones. Let's see. Let's, see. Let's make sure that all of them are loose. If at least loose from each other. Ooh. Accidentally damaged the light, but oh well. Actually, it's sparking now. Or it was. Could have been. Yeah, could have just been from the grapple, but oh well. Hmm. If I just tag these down, are they going to drag the entire thing with them? Or is it just going to push the sides? Yep, push the side. Oop, mostly. Oh dear. Probably a good idea if I cut this free. There. Okay, that's no longer attached on that side. Okay. Send that there. Okay. Now we just continue with these. There. Okay. At the very least, that helps push all of this aside to give a lot more room. Okay, another one of you. So are annoyingly heavy for how small they are. Okay. There. Okay. And that's basically most of the haul done. No. Let's con let's actually finish this thing off. Oop, first off. Pulling these out. How far are we away from the next level? Uh, let's see. Oh, we've already we've already reached the next level. All right, All right. so we, we see more story after this then. Hopefully. When we finish this once we get some well some levels uh, extra into the next one. Mm. Oop. Okay, this thing needs to repair. There, I guess it still has plenty of heat capacity left. But we'll probably need to repair it anyways, or if we want to melt bigger things. Oh, wait, it's still being held together by cut points. Okay. That's what I want. And the rest can all go into the furnace. I'm not going to waste time getting the the doors and the lights out because they are just really not worth it. Okay. And then we can just shotgun all of this in there as well. There we go. Okay. Okay, as long as there aren't any consoles on these parts, we can just shove them in. It's an absolutely tiny bit of titanium. <laughs> okay. You go there. 
you go there. Okay. Now, this bit here. Oh, actually, I, I, I've cut into these before, but... Oh, well. Wait, shouldn't that mean that this is loose? Or should be loose already? Okay, can no. Go on the inside? Oh, right. The connecting points. There's no real way to get into the crawl space here, so we'll just have to make our own entrance. Wait, how is that still attached? Uh, really? That all that cut loose? What's this bit? I guess okay. the ones you cut into are the ones connected to. Yeah, unless you get, you get inside now to be able to reach them now. There. Cutting a little bit more than needed, but oh well. As long as the airlocks are not cut, I don't really care too much. Dear. Well, I might as well say this. I've been playing a lot of Unicorn Warlord, folks, and I love it. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. I also got to confirm, it, it is the same developer team that made uh, Dragon's Crown. This explains mm -hmm. the artwork. Okay. <laughs> but, yeah, and... You know, I said uh, the characters had some really nice outfit and not made it too fan servicey. It's kind of still true, but now once the demos is out and we have seen more characters, yeah, there are different characters that are still leaning more fan service but not too badly. However, it both is goes for both the uh, both genders. So you will see a lot of uh, guys showing off their arm cannons and abs and all that. And uh... Definitely show. I was saying they definitely went on that thing all on uh, the elves, apparently. <laughs> okay. Basically. Uh, yeah. But you can see for the female elves, you can almost see on the male elves as well. And uh, hello, Rom! <laughs> hey, Rom. <laughs> How are you doing? Oh, <laughs> Perfect timing to join in. <laughs> I'm awake. And alive. Of course, okay, he was that's alive good. That's speak of fan service. Hey, here's a fun fact that I just remembered. Uh, mm -hmm. A bunch of the characters you play as in Suicide Squad, yeah, are actually actually die in like extra material for the Arkham games. Okay. Uh. Let me think. Oh, um, yeah, did, I don't remember make... King Shark showing up in any of that. Then again, he is a relatively new addition to the Suicide Squad, I believe. Yeah, I think he got added in because of the Suicide Squad. Yeah, the movie. Mm -hmm. There's been so much be... freaking Suicide Squad late, uh, stuff lately. Like, it's like a trend in freaking Warner Bros. Mm. But yeah, mm. if I remember correctly, uh, a few of them died in the comics. Like, not all of them, but a few of them died in either the comics or the anime movie. Yeah. Uh, Escape from Arkham. There's been a few of those as well. My, my guess is that someone at Warner Bros. or someone up, uh, up high with Warner Bros. is really freaking likes the Suicide Squad and has everyone making stuff of it, which kind of has, well, a lot of people just get sick of it. Yeah. Yeah. What is this? I, I, I was thinking people liking the villains at times, but that's a limit. I don't know how well the Suicide Squad comics went to, uh, to begin with. 
which mm -hmm. leads me to the point, the question I made, like, literally just a few minutes ago. Why not just make it so that it's a, an alternate universe? Because they pretty much establish in that same game that the multiverse is a thing. Yeah, only late game. But, yeah. I gave an answer to that somewhere, yeah. but I'm, basically I think one of the, one of the suits basically told them to make it in the uh, make it be in the art you know, universe, basically because well it's of an already established name and such, and yeah, completely ignoring the fact that well fans are going to be pissed off that the the guy you played for, uh, let's see. Three, four games, potentially a fi fifth because there's a 2.5 Arkham. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, they just completely ignored or didn't realize that people might just get a tiny bit pissed off that the guy you played for for so many games just gets killed off in that. And that's a power generator I forgot to remove. Right, so similar, noticed. something not point or not by point by point similar, but similar thing that happened to. Uh, uh, the Tiberian Sun uh, 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 yeah, 4 game, or rather, yeah, uh, was supposed to be another form. game, but they decided to go, you know what, let's rename it to Tiberian Sun and put a Tiberian Sun label on this, and then we said, well. Yeah, it didn't. Wait, wasn't Tiberian Twilight the fourth one? Yeah. That's the Tiberian one Sun that, the second. here's the thing about the Twilight, uh, at least the fourth one. Is that nobody the, likes it. The, yeah. Not only that. People who does the law and was more uh, the old Communications game and all that, they won't touch it. Mm. They are considering it as non canon but for them, they, it doesn't exist. Yeah. They on rare occasion mention it in the context of if we could remake it situation. I mean, the actor who plays Kane is still around and somehow manages to look the damn same, so... <laughs> yeah, but blood heck, even, even I could see his videos cuts in there, he did not like it. Yeah. Pattern Never oh, hello. Have hmm? a good day. New message. Uh, really, story of the Cosmos Collector Salvage 8 Rocks. Okay. <laughs> Something about bone collector? Bone strengthening. Let's see this. Let's see. Ta -ta -ta. It's Blue. Blink's spam filters are the I gotta look up how much is that. Actually, let me check something. First, I'm fine. Life of Blink's property sure isn't much of a life at all, but at least I'm not sure this It's been good to be back with my old man. And he's overjoyed. Now. Here's the important thing. Lynx thinks bringing the hammer down with Clause 19C stop the union. But au contraire, it's actually pushed so many more people to their breaking point. The group's even bigger now, and we've even got the ear of the Stellar Commission. They're reluctant to act, of course. But if enough of us make a fuss, we can make it too big for them to ignore. So, remember my idea for industrial action? The union's in. And I told them I know the perfect crew to kick it off. I've sent the instructions to Weaver. Talk it out. If anyone wants to pass, I get it. Oh, one more thing. I think Kaido gave Hal access to the Union News Group. That's how that schmuck got my message. Silly kid. Probably feels mega guilty. Okay. I already let him know. I don't blame him. Okay. Go easy on him yourself, alright? Good luck, Ruck. Whichever way things go, I hope we get to meet for real someday. Blue out. Okay, I had a feeling that they moved, uh, that they shifted communication style, and that it was, this was just going to be, well, a Trojan horse for getting actual information through. And I'm, I'm guessing this is just what activated that, that message in there. But yeah, right. it looks like There's things are there. starting to speed up. You have something else new there. Uh, let me check then. It's still the ship doctor. No ship, no doctoring. No. 
Okay, let's have a look oh, yeah. here. Finally, something's going on, and now I'm curious. What else can Amigos do? I'm pretty sure I know what they want with uh, industrial action. Basically, we just destroy as much of the ship as possible. It would be a nice change of pace. Dude, I wonder... Could we just launch the ship into one of the things? Yeah, we could throw... Uh, we could throw it entirely into the furnace. It will still make them some money, but I think most of the stuff will... Well, get <laughs> destroyed. Uh, let's see, we've got another one of these. Wait, then I wonder... Wait, here's the thing. We level up, we level through these to level up to go through the story, correct? Yeah. yeah. Sure. Will that change for how we level up now? Uh, it'll probably be for one specific uh, action or such. We'll see how it goes, because I think Weaver is probably going to start talking about this. Yeah. I guess we all better be quiet. Let's see. Or not. Okay. No, oh, that means... Really? It work as usual for this one. But on the next level, or maybe the next day, we'll probably, well, basically go all destruction derby on these things. Finally, something different. Okay. Yeah, there are some things that are um, with this game that are small disappointments, but overall, seeing from where they started to where we are now with this, it's very impressive how far they have come with it. Yeah, I just hope the next game they make, if they are making another game, Maybe they do something that's a, a bit easier to work with. <laughs> yeah, but basically the problems, as far as I remember, is that they basically ran into the limits of the engine. So <laughs> it's not like they bit off too much more than they could chew. It's more like the the engine can't handle what they're trying to bite into. Yeah. Let's see. Might as well start immediately with depressurizing. Air pressure level decreasing. Okay, something I'm only now noticing, I think, is that if if you would get a blowout, these lights here, this one is safe to open, that one isn't, so there's a red light. Only now notice that. Oh, on. Really? Yep. Yep. Overlook this bit here. Okay. Now open you. Airlock and you. And you. Airlock okay. And the airlocks, it makes sense that they will do that. Because, well, they're airlocks, they need to cycle through. Uh, let's see. Oh, we have a functional one here. So, no need for a blowout. Air pressure level decreasing. Okay. Airlock decreasing. It's funny how sometimes you just only notice such things when I mean, you're really freaking far into a game, huh? Yeah. I'm pretty sure you two responded in the exact same tone at the exact same moment. Yeah, I was trying to <laughs> figure out how we... I'm not sure that most of the time we've been talking about something, making us too distracted to notice those like, tiny things. Like, sometimes, like, I think you've seen that I can be very observant in time and spot something while Helian is completely distracted or over-focused. But even like, as on other videos saying, hey, even I can miss things. Yeah. Okay. Like, of late, I feel like I've been, uh, well, for example, just blinking at the wrong time or looked away at the wrong time. Yep. Okay. Easy first pluck with all of this. There and there. Okay. 
But yeah, it is going to be fun to just demolish one of these things. Okay. Oh, hello there. I'll take that, even if it is just 5k. Okay. Send you to the right place. Alright. Over there. Oh, wrong one. There. Very easy cash with these things. And there we go. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure each one of these is worth more than a single set of feathers anyways. There. I'm pretty sure you're correct. Otherwise, uh... Nope, wrong. Why even Bear. bother? Okay. But yeah, tethers just make things so much freaking easier. I, I wouldn't be surprised if there are some players who do a challenge where you just do not use tethers at all. That sounds... actually... That sounds kind of painfully annoying. Forgot to remove the atmosphere regulator. Of course, correct. And dunk that in. Yeah, getting the range upgrades was pretty worth it, I'd say. Okay. Uh, let's see, more to decompress inside, of course. I will say this, though. Hmm? Why put the cargo like... on the outside of the ship? Yeah, because there isn't much room inside. There it is. But, yeah, but yeah, still it does make it, it does leave it very vulnerable for like um, micrometeors and such. Yeah, for actually, yeah, for all sorts of space hazards. <laughs> like, sure, a crate of a uh, full of ore could make it uh, protect you from the uh, space speed right in a way, but lose one of those boxes, you lose a lot of money. Yeah, and or it could also be mm. the place as itself, with a crate full of... You, you don't Oops. know what... That was... Floating. That was dumb of me. I... I was I speak not... Of, I speak of space hazards, and you do this. Okay, yeah, that, that was really stupid of me. That might have cost us the reactor. Reactor's on fire. <laughs> You were frozen completely. <laughs> okay. Okay, just how much did that destroy? Not enough to cost us a marker, though. So, I'm guessing the reactor uh, is still intact? It... So, it's about 60,000? Let's see. Yeah, 1.7 million destroyed there. <laughs> oh. Okay. Well, at least, the, at least the stupid moves are complete now. Uh, but that does mean that if I start to remove the fuel from the reactor, it'll start melting down for some reason. Stefan, come on. I will talk about the these hazards of a floating uh, cargo crate in space that someone could run into. It. You just end up <laughs> being the biggest hazard of them all. Yeah, and you don't know that inside of the ship. And Oscar's back into the uh, into the closet. Kind of lucky that didn't blow up the fuel. Hmm. Does that count okay. as freezing? Hmm. Does that count as freezing? Uh, blow up the fuel, uh, but. Not sure what you mean with that, so can't say. Oh, you mean the Oscar is back in the closet? Oh, that. <laughs> it's the cat. It's the cat back in the closet. Okay. okay. And he pushed the door wide open, so closing that. Apparently, someone is having a loud conversation. Hello. Also, yeah, I'm just 
looking around to try to find it. Yeah, a bit, but also just trying to find uh, a fucking mm. a GPU. That's what I'm trying to talk about: a GPU and a power source. Okay. All right. And I was also trying to find a something else. Uh, actually, let me see. Mm. Okay. Yeah, let's salvage what we can. Um, all right, we need to get inside to actually open this up. We blew up the airlock, so <laughs> no need to go through that. <clears throat> okay. But yeah, I'm guessing once we hit the next level or of next few days, we're going to be doing this intentionally, so... I guess I just jumped the gun a bit. Yeah. I, still yeah. I still hope we are getting closer to the end for... Yeah, I'm pretty sure we need to hit max level for that. Um, yeah, I didn't ask about that specifically, but we'll just have to see what happens. Um, what's the max level again? 30, and we're 23. Yeah, we'll have to see. I'm, pres I'm assuming there, just as we did a lot of assuming with uh, partisans. There. Yeah. I was trying to guess if, like, in scenario, if that is the case, how many mm. streets we will have remaining. One second. Huh? Okay. Like, did we get two, three levels last time we streamed this? Uh, about. Like, it, with the two hour streams, it used to be like a level each stream or so. So, uh, yeah. Typically one or two, at least uh, during these as well, I'm presuming. Yeah. Like, we already got one earlier. And if we make sense to salvage enough of this thing, it should be another one. Uh, let's see. Where's the regulator? Not here. Okay. Oh, you're still connect? No, you are not. Okay. Yeah, as long as we don't destroy enough to ruin one of our milestones, well, we, we don't even need that many. We can. And see, it's about 100 for each, so. Four or five milestones should be enough to get another level. Yeah, then we finish the ship so we get uh, through to the next uh, level as well. Okay. Send all if of that into like the that, furnace. Is... Because the, for some reason, the passageway is worth more than the walls. Material okay. Let's try and get all of this moving. So we can get somewhat safe access to this. Okay. There. Okay, I think mm. I think off the stream I may end up playing more Unicorn or not. Like <laughs> normally I play Sometime in the morning and sometimes a bit after midday for a short time to, to about three. But this game is one of the few games I actually can see myself play a little bit in the evening as well. Okay. Needing very short breaks. <laughs> the other thing probably is also due to I haven't had too much to watch on YouTube as well. Uh, that reminds me of uh, when I first played the, uh, the the latest of the Tomb Raider reboots, the one from 2013, I think. Uh, yeah, basically the first <laughs> I played that game for five hours straight before I even paused the damn game. Yeah. Okay. 
And as it is, it runs surprisingly well. Apparently, there has been bugs, but most of the bugs people go went. Wait, that was bugged? They even had some bugs that were. You saw the bug itself fixed as well? But apparently, the bugs are so minor that people are impressed by doing that. They have worked on this damn game for 10 years. Yeah, as makes well, sense. Paid for their own pocket money for it. And apparently, hmm. it already on the, on this road to become uh, the best strategy game of the year. <laughs> Everyone is praising it. And sorry, what? Yeah, the the way, way that gets calculated confuses me a bit at times because it's t it's typically not really counted from January to December, but more like uh, I'm forgetting specific, but yeah. Those rewards are typically handed out somewhere in the beginning of the year for the previous year, I think, but yeah, it's, it's just it's just odd to me that stuff like that isn't like called at the end of the year and such. Oh, I did not know the, uh, I didn't I didn't mean about the game or was it? I'm not surprised. You will not be surprised if it comes out there. I also seen, seen, hearing, seeing thumbnails and hearing YouTubers speak of uh, this feels like a game of the year. The game. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so more like uh, <clears throat> uh, player's choice stuff. Yeah, just less official, more people <laughs> openly feel, feel like okay, this feels damn good for people who are playing the game. Yeah. And not people who are getting paid to... Well, one thing with the Game Awards is that... I, I don't know the specifics about it, but a lot of it, from what I've heard, is basically... It's you can you, you can practically pay yourselves into the rewards, or into the awards. Oh, come on. By through sponsors and such. So yeah, that basically means that the entire thing is useless. This probably explains why some people have been angry at the, the game of what's at times, if that's how they win. Yeah. Because... They, that's not even a contest. They, you're not awarding them for good work, which you're supposed to do. Yep. So... Hmm? Fun fact about the Game Awards... Fun fact about the Game Awards, I've only seen the last three, and I mostly remember them for random person goes on stage and says something completely out of left field. Yeah, I've, I've not watched any in like well, multiple years, maybe 10 years at this point or something. Highlights included the guy who inexplicably talked about Orthodox Rabbi Bill Clinton and the other guy who got on stage and then later on the response from Dorito Pope on, twi on Twitter was effectively said that more like the threat of a mob boss than a sort of like like we all literally went okay so that guy's fucking dead isn't he okay uh, uh, for key people here i haven't seen any game awards ever okay the, the biggest thing i heard about the last one was like a uh... The, the Larian Studios we won uh, an award or multiple awards with Baldur's Gate 3, I think. Basically yeah. getting shoved off stage in the middle of their speech. Okay. Yeah, because they were taking too long or such, and the, even then they didn't only got about a, a minute or so, a very, a very small amount of time. Basically, it was... It was a point that made it clear the Game Awards are not about the games and developers, it's about the sponsors. Like, there, there is... there Actually, I don't know if it's still around, but there used to be a uh, an annual show over here in the Netherlands. It may still be around, called Domino Day, which was, well, basically a yearly attempt at breaking the uh, world record of how many dominoes in one go and such. And yeah, it, it started out good and such, but over time they just started putting in more and more advertisers and putting in basically time wasters into the domino stuff itself, like just a, a big fucking pendulum uh, 
twisting pendulum that would take like 50 minutes or so oop, to uh, <clears throat> to finally hit the next uh, domino and yeah viewership just plummeted and so I'm I'm not sure if it even exists anymore actually I can just look it up right now oh bloody heck I'm kind of glad I don't watch those, but I will probably give it up on them rather quick. I, I, I get that such shows need sponsors to work and such, but if you're going to prioritize those over what your actually fucking show is about, then yeah, you're just done. Yeah. Basically, sponsorship is alright, as long as it doesn't consume what you're supposed to do. Yeah, sponsorship should be secondary, not the primary thing. Okay, uh, let me see. Domino Day. It's probably why I'm okay. fine with YouTubers doing sponsorships. Yeah, as, long as, the, as long as the sponsors themselves are ethical as well, because we've all seen people do sponsorships for Raid Shadow Legends, and that is just absolute garbage yeah certainly like, west ham has done a few of those do he, he is a good guy and does good law reason on that but he does need the money so i can't understand why but there has been other times i've seen youtubers apologize for doing a sponsorship for they actually they noticed later that something was off like all oh, right like they did the first sponsorship then they returned for doing more and they sounded more pushy and all this made the YouTuber gonna then question if they have been uh, doing something bad. Yeah, I, like, I think uh, I think something else that did a lot of sponsorships was Better Help or something, which was basically proven to be a scam or something. Also, hello Sensei, oh, yeah. morning. Hello <laughs> doing Sensei. Well, I'd say. Yeah, doing well. Yeah, I've seen a, a, a Star Wars YouTuber doing done a lot of those for a while, but then they stopped very much. Probably due to that. Yeah. So and I can understand why uh, people take and even need sponsorships, especially when, well, YouTube is your your career and your main source of income. Yeah. 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 Which you really need to vet that shit. Or something that claim you get to own a land in Scotland that ended up showing up there sure was a scam. Yep. Mm. And. I think, you, I think one of the YouTubers you watch, uh, Hillian, actually responded, made a video in response to it after they had made a sponsorship, explained that they realized something was fishy when they demanded the, the, to do more, more sponsorship uh, with them. Yeah. And then he actually started to real, uh, wonder, something's off. And he started to look more, thing... more and more into it, and he think... saw the cracks. Yeah. I think the thing with the land stuff was that it wasn't fully a scam, but it was more. It was extremely deceptive, since yeah, you could only you would only buy like a square meter or a square foot of land, and they were basically saying that you could name yourself as a lord then, since you'd own land. But yeah, that's totally not how that works. So, yeah, Indeed, maybe not scam, but very much deceptive advertising. Yeah, how are you doing yourself, Sensei? Well, I hope. Hmm. It's gotten stuck. You? I was still surprised this Raid Challenge is making an animated series on YouTube. Nope, that's lost. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I'm still surprised that's around like after five years. Yeah, it, I even know to her that it has even got the, only recently a few fan arts. Okay. Which I think is, I think it, I'm gonna will not be surprised much of the game it sells on the whole uh, fan service side a bit, but yeah, it was promising. It's been... The game does look gorgeous. I just feel like it's wasted in the game yeah, uh, it... set being set up as. It, its beauty is literally skin deep. It has the graphics and literally nothing else. And speaking of art, they've been caught uh, basically stealing, uh, stealing art and such. I think. Not surprised. Then again, it reminds me of something. This is something that happened with BBC. Oh. One of the latest dinosaur documentaries BBC did is a bit more on low budget. 
was uncovered that they stole a stegosaurus asset from Orc Survivor Evolved. <laughs> uh, yeah, the, the game we're talking about... Oh, that was a misclick. Uh, the game we're talking about, Sensei, is uh, yeah, Raid Shadow Legends, though calling in the game is to, well, give it more praise than it deserves. It's basically, it, it's basically is... designed to get people addicted. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. For people only. How did people notice the Stegosaurus was from Ox of Evolved? Well, the Stegosaurus for Ox of Evolved have not four spikes in its tail, but six. And they saw right away from the head. They did nothing to cover it up except to maybe change this, this scale color a little bit, but otherwise. It was clear as day, and they got into. DBC actually got into trouble for it. At least the one who stole it. Yeah. Okay, let's try maneuvering this thing out. But still, I, I think Min was surprised that BBC, of all things, had someone steal art and animation from a game. Yeah, I, I've heard that they've been doing questionable stuff for quite a bit longer than that. Like, come on, get back here, you. Oh, yeah. Like, when they claimed everyone liked. Oh, well, what is that damn thing's called name again? Uh, Man. pink creature with yellow dots on his body. Not a clue, but basically one thing I heard is it's maybe not the channel itself yeah, entirely, but some of its reporters are definitely manipulative with uh, the stuff that they cover or how they cover it. Like, uh... Oop, oop, oop forgot to do that. <laughs> Oops. <clears throat> like, uh... Arranging shots specifically so that it looks like there's big crowds or something uh, at something like a protest or such, only oh. for other uh, footage to show. Oh, it's only like five freaking people in clusters together, and they're just standing right up next to them. That's a trick that many news channels do. Yeah. It's especially those that uh, wanna portray have some kind of. Uh agenda or something. Yeah, narrative. Yeah, because I think is, uh, if I, I recall this right from what I've been told and heard, a lot of, uh, and basically every superpower is guilty of it. Hello? USA, I mean, Russia, China, all of them are guilty of doing that. Hmm. Okay. Let's try and get this thing out. Okay, but yeah. Uh, the, the biggest defenders with that, I would definitely say, are yeah, definitely the Chinese and Russian state media. Uh, to my knowledge, hmm, to my knowledge, there is no actual official state media in America or such. But then you have Fox News, which was well specifically set up to be a propaganda channel for the Republican Party, so that probably okay. counts there. It was not originally set up to be that, but it became that. And from what I've heard in documentaries and such, it was specifically started in reaction to Nixon getting outed and such. Uh, um, because, well, journalists actually looking at their freaking jobs and such. Yeah, yeah, the uh, Watergate incident. Um. And, and yeah, I could be misremembering, of course, but from what I recall, Fox News was specifically set up to be like just counter to that and such, like a counter narrative to actual journalism and such. But explain what Aerovolt why so many people dislike it. Yeah, outright hate it. I, I believe there was a recent thing, something with... Uh, I'm forgetting the specifics about what it was about, but it was a hearing about... I think it was a hearing about the Biden impeachment attempt. And yeah, the so-called witness just started to confirm... started admitting to stuff that was, well, looking bad for Trump, and Fox immediately cut away from everything. That should tell you enough about their integrity. Yeah, even... What integrity? Have you seen yeah. clips where 
the news reporters actually go against this script and you say feel like you know what i had enough of this yeah, there are a few moments that you know where that stuff like that happens yeah i will admit that yeah i'll come with all no idea but apparently they have been coming more and more common apparently so there. I'm gonna guess something is going on at Fox where again it has become it coming from I mm. understand a bit more and more common. Yeah, probably because those people are <laughs> I believe Fox is still getting sued for stuff that they said during the twenty twenty election. So could this be part of that the them uh right the, the host trying to cover their asses and that and I would not be surprised at least from the few clips I've seen. They just uh, are fed up uh, with uh, being used as propaganda dolls. Mm. Mm. I, just feel like I, think I just feel enough. Yeah, I, I think it's more self-interest than any sort of integrity. Oh, right. I, I guess yeah, we're just now. decompressing this thing uh, violently. I don't think it counts as decompressing when. You know, it all just falls apart. At least it's not imploding. That just... Okay, that rubber <laughs> was some. Okay, something was keeping that in place, but not too well. <laughs> okay. Um. I'm gonna start making food. Okay. Here's a uh, joke for you. Mm -hmm. What is the what is something you don't want to say to your interviewer when getting a job? Uh, there's plenty of stuff for that. <laughs> How much are they paying you? In this case, where do you see yourself in five years? Oh yeah, that that's basic bullshit stuff yeah. like that. But what's the worst thing you can say to that? Where do you see yourself in five years? Sleeping with yeah. your wife? <laughs> <laughs> or another one, perhaps, uh, in your exact position now here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, that, that, that's basically such a... It's a nothing uh, question. It's meant to basically screw people over and and get them uh, just unsettled or whatever. Literally, it's a cheap I, trick. Yeah, I just cheat by saying, by whenever they say, "What do you see yourself in five years?" I just say, "With a job." <laughs> yeah. Credits deposited. Uh. Yeah, I. I think a, a bunch of job recruiters these days are just not doing their jobs well or they're just not hiring actually good ones. Like they find, uh, I've heard stories that some just brag about how many people they reject in such and such amount of time and such. And yeah, the, if, if you're bragging about the, how many you are not hiring, you are clearly not doing your job. Like, of yeah, course, they, their, their job is partially to weed out people who do not fit, but you actually well, need yeah, to hire okay. damn people. Yeah. Like, you need to actually hire people for the job. Yep. We get that part of your job is like, you know, make sure that the wrong people don't get the job. But, I mean, there's a difference between bragging and saying, you have no idea how many people I had to, like, deny the job because they were not suited. Yeah. Okay, there's a radiation filter. And from what you're saying, it sounds like the former rather than the latter. Yeah. It sounds less a failure of the people interviewing and more a failure of the interviewer. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think one thing with that as well is that... Like, I'm not sure if it's if it's company mandated or just the recruiters themselves, but they they try to just only go for people who are just absolutely perfect 11 out of 10s for the job or something. And... Yeah. Uh, it actually that, reminds that, me of... Then they're hiring you know, nobody. 
Accepted. You know, it reminds me of another job, actually. Of another joke, actually. Yeah, which I think I've said, but I might as well say it again. So, basically, they put an ad out for, like, a porn movie, so, and the lead has to have about three years of experience and be a virgin. Oh, n <laughs> yeah, I heard yeah. that one. I have heard that one. Uh, from, from the click, I think I've also heard that one. In Blood Eve, they had a reaction to a whole lot of minutes. Yeah, I, I, I've heard stories of similar stuff. Like, there was one post that shows up on Reddit and such uh, sites every so often about a job requirements in uh, coding with a, with a, new, with a specific uh, coding language. And then it says, like, uh, five years experience uh, required. And then there's just a post from the actual inventor of the coding language underneath there, uh, saying that they invented it just two years ago. Yeah, just... You need five years to know that you know this language. And this and the guy who created it puts on this. This thing was created, like, two years ago. What the fuck are you talking about? Five. Yeah. I also heard this from the click. I think it was in the same video, probably. <sighs> oh, God. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes... People are very self-sabotaging. And it also just shows that they've done zero research about the thing they bought. Or definitely have supposed to have researched. Uh, but yeah, speaking of new jobs as uh, well and such, it's likely uh, I've been asked to come in for a meeting with the, uh, the employment center or employment uh, company that got me this spot with the well, where I'm currently quote unquote working, even though well I haven't had work last week, I haven't had work the week before, and it's unlikely that I'll have work there this week as well because they have so fucking little to do. So it's it's likely they'll be uh, sending me to some other place. I, I, I'd take stacking shelves at one of the local supers, in part because the current people doing that are so fucking absolutely terrible at it. Like, I keep finding stuff completely where it's not supposed to be. Well, or that's the beginning. Bad. And that, that's typically one... One way you can tell how a, uh, a neighborhood is doing is by going to the local supermarkets and looking how well things are kept. If they, things are kept badly, uh, things are moving towards us, it becoming a slum. All right, that means... Uh, That's my personal right. experience, at least. Mm. All right. Yeah. Or maybe not so much a slum. I... I, I yeah. Uh, but yeah, just that the the uh, the neighborhood is starting to go into a bit of a fall. Either that or just there's store owner or store morale is horrible. Yeah, and since they yes, typically bro. draw from people living nearby, it can basically act as a bit of a thermometer of the region. Hmm. Just remember, if things go wrong, just. Actually, I don't have any way of saying this without sounding like an like a possible psychopath. <laughs> Go but ahead. Grab a rifle and go to the roof of your workplace. Not to shoot people, <laughs> but to defend the place. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I, uh, I would probably, probably recommend against that. All this is a zombie apocalypse. Yeah. yeah I'm not saying like at any time, I'm saying, like, if there's a massive riot going on, or it's the end of the world. Yeah. Oh. Wouldn't be, I wouldn't be able to get my hands on a weapon, on a firearm anyways, because they're illegal here. Mm. Well, grab the closest thing you can use to hit people and hope for the best. <laughs> yeah, there's probably a sledgehammer somewhere. I think That's not the first weapon that came up in my mind for Helion to grab. 
I, I wouldn't exactly say that I have real, real. No, did I? Was I just grabbing the bars there instead? Yeah, you were just grabbing the. Yeah. You were well, grabbing, yeah. And you flung it away. Get in there, you. There. Uh, you want to know where I got that idea from? Uh, Dead Rising. Believe it or not, no, it was actually... Okay, so you know who in 1992 there were massive riots in LA? Mm, about, yeah. Basically, in, like, the Korean district of LA, like, police couldn't get there because they were mostly placed in the mostly white sections of the of LA. So, some of them, who many of whom had firearms experience because... Uh, South Korea has a mandatory one-year program in the military, and many okay. immigrants had already prior firearms experience, basically grabbed the gun and set up on the rooftops of, like, their shops and whatnot just to keep their, uh, their businesses safe from, like, looters and whatnot. Yeah. Oh, bloody heck. As far as I can tell, nobody got killed, but... You know, that's where I just... Where you got it from. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> also, I feel like every time we play this game, we talk, end up talking about something like these topics. It isn't a pleasant setting that this world exists in such, seeing as, well, let's take a quick look. One second. A I good chunk name. of the planet is flooded. Or dried up. Mm -hmm. It'd be really it's... funny if Australia is now the capital of the world. <laughs> uh, on that actually, oh, I accidentally cut that one. But they'll still take it. Uh, one thing that people either misunderstand about global warming and the ice caps and such is, yeah, a lot of people go like, won't uh, the amount of uh, won't the le water stay the same level because, well, ice is uh, ice as water just feels it takes up the same amount of space or such. Uh, on that one, no, uh, ice when it, it expands, uh, water when it freezes actually takes up more space when it is frozen. And there's the fact that the glaciers are not in the water. So, like, people people like to think, like, the North Pole and such, that's just big chunks of ice floating on the tops of the world and such. Uh, nope, it's on land. And yeah, so when that yeah, water they... melts, it slips off the land and, and into the sea, which, well, then you've got rising water levels. Yeah. yeah. Like... Yeah, if I remember correctly, I think they're considered, like, at least in some degree, continents. Yeah. Antarctica is a continent. Arctic, yeah. however, is the one that has been a little... rarely spoken about if that is a continent or not. <laughs> yeah, so the thing is, with, like, the rising... like, global war... Brains not functioning correctly. It, with the rising, you know, water level heat from, yep. yeah, with the rising yep. heat, like, you know, it melts, and you know that's still over. And even if it were like giant, I like just ice, it'd still be, you know, it's still giant pieces of ice that if they melt, still, like, imagine if the world's a it's a bathtub. Yeah. Basically, that adds extra water, and the bathtub's already full, so it overflows. Yeah. Yeah. I. There's like, something else. If we, you, you would also have this similar effect from underwater volcanoes. Yep. Uh, one thing I uh, one thing I see pop every now and then on s subreddits like r slash facepalm is people with quote unquote science experiments to disprove the rising water stuff by just showing. A glass of water with some ice in it and then showing it afterwards with the ice melted and it, the water being the same level but that is assuming that all the ice is already in the water and yeah. like we said when with the glaciers they're not in the water mm -hmm. yeah Processing valuable deposit. Credit 
Uh, we don't know what else is in this melting ice either. Yeah. But they have There's found been, the yeah, they've been around. Is frozen. Yeah. Like, depending. Like, we can literally find bacteria that has been, that's been around since at least the formation of, like, the Earth. Yeah. And we have no idea what the effect it would have on, you know, people. We got enough yep. problems with people like bitching about getting vaccines for shit that we've already had vaccines for, like how somehow leprosy came back in Florida. Yeah. Wait, Measles what? is making a return as well. Oh dear. Like we've already gonna, got enough problems with people deciding to not get vaccinated for shit we already know how to vaccinate people against. Yeah. Now, that... now imagine if it's shit we don't even know how it work, and it's been yeah. around for like millions of years. Yeah, the the, the ice hasn't always been there. At least not in, in the landmass itself. Uh, that landmass has moved about. Yeah. But like it has been connected to South America and Australia. Mm, they yeah, they actually recently discovered a terror bird in Antarctica. Okay. A fossil, of course. It was not alive. It was a fossil. But they found one of the islands closer to South America, a new species of terror bird there. So they may have crossed, been able to cross the, to Antarctica. We even had dinosaurs go from South America to Antarctica to Australia. In a massive migration. Yeah, ice bridges and such, probably, or just when the land masses were more connected. Yeah, like more connected, not uh, as high le water level. Actually, funny thing is, I think I read somewhere that there, that people found like actual anthropologists dug around and found evidence of like there being people already in this section of the world before the whole land bridges thing, which still leads to the question of how any of this happened. Yeah. Actually, now that we're talking about this sort of stuff, probably one thing I should also... Uh, I may have yeah, talked about this before, but a lot of, a lot of stupid people, simply put, they will go like, uh, but evolution is just a theory and such, but scientific th theory and well, quote unquote, normal theory is not the same. Like scientific Indeed. theory is like, okay, we've tested this stuff to hell and back with all the possibilities that we have available right now. So as far as we can tell, uh, this does happen every time you do this and that, or this sort of stuff, uh, that sort of thing. Uh, so yeah. A scientific theory is basically, this is the absolute best we have been able to test this shit until something entirely new is discovered or such. Yeah, oh, oh, I think mean, I saw this before, but here's an example for EDC. Someone tried to say dinosaurs are not related to the birds, and his evidence was they found a dinosaur with a digested bird in his stomach. In the dinosaur. Yeah. How is that evidence? It's, it's, it's not. He was talking yeah. bullshit. Yeah, I know, yeah. I know. But, but the thing is, how would anybody consider that evidence? Yeah, I was pondering as well. Even the YouTubers was short after. I did not watch the entire video. I felt like I would get a headache, which I had at the moment. Yeah, and, and there's also the fact that there were already bird-like species back in the day, like said terror birds from earlier. Yeah, they, they, they were, terror birds were not in the dinosaur age, but they were after, but still. Yeah. The birds were uh, uh, evolving during the age of dinosaur and all related to them. Just the lineage of birds started, uh, did not uh, start at the end of the Cretaceous, it started way earlier. Yeah. And they had already branched off to different species. And th th there's plenty of evidence these days that uh, Plenty of uh, dinosaurs were uh, actually had feathers and such, and well, soft materials like that don't fossilize. They, they do, but you need to have a specific area for it. Like China hmm. is one of the uh, Mongolia, one of those areas where fossilized feathers preserve better because they have the right 
kind of minerals and stuff to preserve them better. Even enough for them to actually find colors on them. Okay. However, again, you need to have the right condition for it to happen. <laughs> yeah, just like you need the right conditions for fossils to even form in the first place. Yeah, and again, Mongolia and China just have that right area for it to happen. Probably why we have found so many of them feather dinosaurs there. But we have found them elsewhere in some part of America and Germany and such, but not as common for, again, you need to have the right condition and yeah. right minerals for it to happen. Okay. Let's get to cutting these. But not all of them but many of them may have at least. We, we are still looking into it. We have even found clues that support sign of feathers. Like, you found a fossil, you don't see the, feather, the feathers on it, but you find other signs, like special things on the arms where some feathers would be connected to. Okay. So some of them may, may have or had arm yeah. feathers, or at least more feathers than we expected, uh, provided we find Otherwise, at least this sign of those where some bigger feathers would have been connected. I'm just gonna leave the picture I found. Uh, you found a picture? Okay. Then... Yes. That's the one we did earlier. Where is okay. uh, let's see. It's a bit cramped here. All right. But workable. Okay. Anything on the sides here? No. Okay. So all of these should be loose. Uh, Just I need to get food. them off. <laughs> That's too small. Okay. Oh, hello. Nice find. Drink. And there we go. Okay. <laughs> no need to get my shell get myself uh, shocked by those things again. Okay. Now can I? Hmm. Okay. I think it's getting. I think it's still getting. Yes. Still being stuck through jank. So let me just get rid of the entire thing. There we go. No complain about that, but yeah, not really worth it. Okay, now how do I get you loose from everything? Shouldn't be any more real cutting points or yeah, there's these still, but there. Actually, might as well immediately. Okay. Okay, well, I can... okay, just remember that at some point, hopefully, we'll be playing Borderlands 2. Yeah. It's gonna be really weird since one of us picked Krieg, but no, but nobody has Maya. <laughs> uh, Hex wanted to be, play Maya, I believe. Mm. Or do they change that? I don't remember. We we might as well ask later. Okay. That's too big. Okay. Out of range. There we go. There we go. Just in time for that to not go off. How did that get up there? Okay. Uh, yeah, now we should be able to move these rings from each other. As long as they don't stick together. Yep, yep, it's already coming apart. Okay. It's like that ring game where you need to move uh, different sized rings onto different, uh, <clears throat> onto different uh, poles. But you can't put the uh, bigger ones on the smaller ones. Okay, what is connecting these? Hmm. There shouldn't be anything keeping these together. Oh well. 
probably take this thing out. Ooh. Careful not to hit the filter itself. You know, you could have gotten away with Spider-Man Spider being married and having a kid. What yeah, did I just return to? Me and Randall were thinking about it. It's with no one more day. I just... Why... In fact, why just give your marriage to the devil? What was the point? Nobody could heal a wound. Nobody could heal a gunshot wound in New York City? Yeah, with the freaking Fantastic Four around as well. It, it basically was just uh, stupid rider stuff. Still connected. Ooh. And even then, Aunt May was like, yeah, you know what? I'm cool. I'm cool with dying. I, li I lived a good life, all things considered. But yeah, but from what I hear, one of the big reasons was that the... And maybe the writers, maybe the editors, no, not a, sure. No, it's still stuck the, above. Yeah, okay. Yeah, basic, basically, some idiots thought that uh, Peter oh, Parker means. being married would make him unrelatable for new readers or something. How much would I bet most of the new readers are like people who are like married and still want to enjoy comics? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I, yeah, I don't, I don't understand how people sometimes think. There's something actually, while we are at that, Wait, something I, I like to yeah. use, remember what was in the kitchen. Uh, something comical. Oh. These are keeping it stuck, I think. Oh dear. Rather, right the story uh, spins underneath. Have you heard about the Netflix uh, documentary about people uh, talking about the flat earthers? That's a no. thing. Yeah, I have a look there today. They were not supporting it, but they were talking about people like it. Someone had made a thing that he said will prove the Earth is flat. And he had said that if Earth is round, he will do that. If Earth is flat, he will do that. Full okay. confidence. And he will say he will leave flat Earth first with the results if they prove round. Guess what happened? Yeah. Yeah, they yeah, were proven wrong. wrong, and yeah. they did none of that. It, yeah, it proved him wrong. It proved uh, the Earth was in round. His own experiment proved the Earth was round. And all he did was curse and swear and say it was broken. What the yeah, hell is that inside there? Not sure. Don't think we want to know. Probably yeah, the origin of the next zombie apocalypse. But yeah, that keeps happening just... every few years or so. And was the was the experiment with like uh, sticks with holes in it and such? No idea. It... I only remember hearing about the people. These are from me. I've heard from other YouTubers and such, including from the Click. Uh, and I, but this yeah. is yeah, this is something that has been, people have been spreading around verbally. Yeah, that, it happens every few years or so that they do an experiment with sticks and lights on it. If, if the Earth is round, then the light will not sh shine through all three of these sticks, which are on the exact same level, such and such distance away, enough for there to be the curvature of the Earth. And each and every time, they can't get the light to shine through all three holes. Unsurprisingly, uh... the Earth is round, go figure. Yeah. Something that was figured out like a literal millennia ago. Yeah. yeah more like, probably. More. Uh, actually, so yeah. Probably almost two millennia right now for... I don't, know, I don't remember was it before or after Christ? I think it was after. The Greek, that the Greek dude discovered and pointed out the Earth was round. It, here's the thing, people, many people do not even believe the Earth was flat, even in the Middle East Ages and all that. Yeah. That, that apparently is a, a trope slash joke that is, that was even old for that time. Did this Indeed. just get launched? However, they didn't, many of them didn't think there was anything on the other side of the ocean. Or I thought it just, just would be way too long to even bother sailing there. But then yeah, I had to, I had 
Vikings go there and fail to settle a colony. But then we had Columbus who thought he could save to India through that direction. And he thought he found India, but he didn't. Nope. There's out somebody else already found it, go figure. Actually, I'm reminded of a of like a Twitter I saw. I'm using it on Facebook, but basically it went like a flat earther says, we have agents all over the globe. And then somebody responded, okay, say that slowly. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm pretty sure like a good part of the uh, flat earth uh, community is actually people who just want to be contrarian or want to be special. And then there's just the idiot. Then there's also just the idiots who believe anything. And then you have the absolute core of it, who are just charlatans profiting off of uh, fleecing the rubes. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, I think I remember something. What was it now? Yeah. For uh, for the stupid people with that, it's it's not. It's basically just a religion. Nothing, nothing is going to convince them otherwise, no matter how much evidence is presented and shown and such. Yeah, oh, I don't remember. I think there has been found things like, like, it's not confirmed the, a, as a proof of discovery, but if I remember right, they have found some Roman relics in North America and South America, but if I remember right, is, I think one of the theories is that it was more not le more sh uh, towards that the Romans know of uh, the continent. More of the ones they found, may have, people have, may have been stranded there. Okay. This, I think it's probably a good idea to think about, like, the Vikings we know actually tried to do a colony in America. I think I found proof that he actually tried. It was lots of enough people trying to make a village there and that failed but from these ones i seen that they only found they haven't found any sign of settlement just burial okay. and uh, mostly being military okay. or at least they have some weapons and such uh, but it was not enough to be a, like a nothing like an invasion forces of just like maybe but one or two people which again could mean that someone's like it's not impossible that the uh, people get lost at sea yeah yeah like so you I need not be compasses surprised. so if you if you don't have a compass you are going to get lost at sea yeah and there's plenty of ways you can lose yourself at sea especially if the navigator falls overboard yeah okay so but yeah, I have seen people uh, trying to claim that the Romans would first discover that and that in the Americans, but uh, I think someone had pointed out that it could uh, also be that uh, they could have ended up accidentally without able, able to return for... Yeah, it's something I think people should probably also look into. Was this a colony attempt or were these people shipwrecked? Yeah. And one of them they found in South America. Only reason they realized these bones were not of the South Americans of that time was because they found beard on them. <laughs> or as a sign of they have had beads on their uh, jaws and uh, such. Okay, and they which had more, they wouldn't uh, there due to climate. Indeed, and that's where they had other bone structures more common with the. Uh, Europeans at that time. So the, it, it is possible that it was not a settled at first or anything, more of we may have, maybe have found uh, victims of stranding. Yeah. Hmm. Now that you mentioned that word, I'm still a bit unsure if, if I'd want to stream Death Stranding at some point or another. This is a weird ass game, but it's still a overall good game. Yeah, I, I, I would be against it. For I see people test play it, and I only say then later, and I know they say that. I know many people wanted me to stream that, but their game is way too weird and way too long, and there's no way I will be even do able to do any commentary on it. But even we struggle to do commentary on it. it. 
Now that, I, now that I think about it, we could make it our our next uh, or one of our next uh, Sunday games because we're basically just chatting about basically most uh, different stuff from the game itself for the most part, anyways. Yeah, I'm sure. Again, I, I, I'm not I'm not interested in that stranding for that one was almost non-stop cutscenes, and we even. We even went almost a very big overtime because of the cutscenes. Yeah. <laughs> but with, uh, with us trying to stream for longer times now, that should be less of an issue. Big emphasis on should. I don't think so. I think that's actually a bigger issue for, again... If, if, in some of the games we could be fine for the cutscenes are usually not that long. But this game's cutscene are so long that if you activate one in the wrong time... Yeah. Regardless if you're just be streaming three or four hours, if that cutscene, if a cutscene enters in the wrong time, that four three hour one could become much longer. <laughs> and, there we go. And also, I mean, I mean, I, I didn't feel interested in Death Stranding. I, at the start, I didn't feel for it. I mean, did feel for the trailers? I didn't feel for it. I saw some YouTubers play play it. I just felt meh. I even felt weirded out and meh. And we we streamed it. I just felt uh, uh, ma majority of the time I felt very confused. But yeah, the biggest no was uh, it had it not been for the damn weirdness and the extreme long cutscenes and almost non-stop talking in it. Mm. I would have maybe let, give it a go, but since it, it, it does all the cutscenes so damn long and talk so much... Yeah, I... Yeah, no. It is loose. I don't think it would work too well. Yeah, we'll have to see. <clears throat> At least, like, if you want to stream it, it's fine. I just will not be part of it. Thing. Hmm. You're just okay. saying. Yeah, what thing? I I, I kind of missed the conversation. Uh, the Death, Death Stranding. Stranding. Oh. I'm streaming that game. Right, oh, that's gonna get confusing. Yep. <laughs> yeah. uh, we'll have to see about that. I'm at, I'm at least not fully against it. Okay, come on, get moving, yeah. you. No. If you were to do it, you probably would do it without me. Okay. It is moving. We have, we have talked about that uh, we may have games where I am not part of. Yeah. This hasn't okay. happened really yet, except on with uh, with you steam something around when I'm asleep. <laughs> yeah. I, I typically don't really stream when you're not around. Like I've I've joined in on some other people streaming stuff. Uh, but I, most of the time I haven't been streaming myself then. Mm. Yeah. You did record it a few times. A few times, but not much lately. Let's see. Uh, on that, actually, uh, DJ Kiske, uh, uh, <coughs> DJ Kiske, uh, Pika Girl. Brandon the Chihuahua, and uh, I'm blanking on who else was there, but basically we uh, we streamed some Stardew Valley a while back, and that's actually the wrong hole. That's what she said. Phrasing. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, yeah. I'm, I may uh, record some of those. And upload them, yeah, separately. Like, we've uh, is he? Nope. Oscar is still there. You're not not there. He's he ran off earlier. Yeah, but yeah, I I will I'll, I'll consider recording some of those streams or uh, maybe streaming them live since I record them anyways as well. And we'll have to see. It's mostly like around midnight here, so. Not the best time for streaming. Especially not for Drakir, who will be about two hours of sleep already then. Yeah. 
I tried to stay up longer since I had at times. Yeah, early wake up is kind of sometimes a bit pointless, but uh, I it's just too hard for me to do that now. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. I do have a uh, Pulp Fiction. Okay, so we can uh, watch that sometime. Yeah, yeah I, haven't, I haven't seen that one. I keep hearing people saying it's a great movie. Or at least a very memeable one with certain things. Yeah. <laughs> like, English, motherfucker, do you speak it? Oh, God. Now, apparently, a lot of these so-called uh, Bible passages or something from that movie are just completely made up. Is I think it's a reference to people who does that, for the other people... Well, there are game and actually, yeah, story troops of people who does that. But I also think there actually been people in real life that has done that. Yeah, plenty of cult members or cult, better cult leaders who do shit like that. Or just extremist groups mm. who will try to sabotage some holy scripts just to prove themselves that they are right, but it's actually based on a damn lie. Yeah. <clears throat> and typically with those kinds of things, like, my bet is that not even the actual leaders of those things believe even a word that they say. Not usually. They just do. They just say it because it gets them power and money. Follow. Yeah, power, money, followers. Yeah, do they really be? Really uh, the only person who might have believed some of his own hype might. Have, pretty certain one of the few people I can think of that, that might have believed his own hype was was the guy with the Charlie Chaplin mustache. And even then, I'm fairly certain he was also mostly running on insanity and meth. And, no, yeah. And... Like, oh, the Second yeah. World War saw so many drugs being used by every freaking one. Yeah. yeah. Soldiers okay. to leaders. So, I think I do recall there has been groups who have uh, taken action against the uh, people who try to I think their own groups try to do something like uh, do extremist activities and try to put a stop to it. But uh, it, there has been, uh, yeah. yeah, those things are going to be going on for quite a while. And uh, no major groups want uh, extremists within the ranks. It's usually not uh, the, with the group split into several parts. Yeah, schisms. Yeah. Hmm. So yeah, even the other all many leaders that we we'll see look at their flocks and see that they have uh, people gone extremists and just at worst case also see they actually are lying what they are supposed to be and try to twist the movie into some fairs, we'll then take action and go, This is not what we are about. Stop mm. lying and all that. And usually we try probably do try to be peacefully at first. It doesn't always work. And I think it's kind of how it happened with the uh, group known as the Mayflowers. Okay, can't say I've uh, heard of them. I talked to you about them before. Okay, uh, must have forgotten I think them, the Mayflower sorry. Was called, they called us after the boat for... They, they got kicked out, they were an extremist group of the church. That the King of England and the Church of England at the time kicked out for being too extremist. So they fled to Netherlands. Okay. For Netherlands were uh, rather open for religion. They did not uh, persecute anyone. So they went there, had a happy few months, then they went. Then they started complaining that the Netherlands were too tolerant of other religions. And wanted to Especially only accept after... their religion. Yeah, especially think? after they were expressly let in because of said, <laughs> because of said uh, tolerance for religion. Yeah. Uh, and guess what they did after that? And got kicked out. But 
they were about probably were about to get kicked out, but decided themselves to leave, put on a certain clothes, especially the Netherlands, the tall hat. What a Mayflower is with this sail too? Uh, America. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Let's see, Crazy Jess, I live, whatever I missed, a lot of discussions that would probably get, if we were getting monetized, would get us demonetized, probably, anyways. Yeah, <laughs> yeah probably. That I would monetize, anyways. Yeah, how are you doing, bad. Jess? Yeah, yeah, how are you doing, Yes. Oh, yeah, I feel like we should probably talk about more of the pleasant thing at this point. Uh, I swear, this thanks. game brings out... Uh, the grumpiness in us. <laughs> or rather, the setting gets uh, us grumpy because, yeah, we work underneath an asshole. It, actually, uh, he probably is somewhere right up there. So we <laughs> quite literally work underneath an asshole. Uh, let's say from little crazy, yes. Tired, happy face, eating currently. Okay, what are you eating, Dan? Curry? Curry currently? I actually misread current into uh, currents. <laughs> I, I think we call currents in Sweden Vinbär. This word for word would probably translate to Wineberry. Yeah, there it is. And there it goes. Okay, uh, let me think. Let's see. They are eating bacon, savory peas. Nothing big, I will have dinner after a nap. Okay. Uh, Bacon scary. Yeah. Yep. Uh, par my parents are off on a reunion today, so I have to make my own food again today. But for that, uh, I just have uh, some hamburgers in the fridge anyways. Uh, can't you say that again? Hamburgers in the fridge. All right, hamburgers, all right. What did you think you heard? I thought you said hind burgers. I thought what the <laughs> is hind burgers. Uh, maybe hamburgers made from <laughs> better quality meat or something. But there are Angus burgers, which are damn delicious. But okay, I warn you for people who want to make Angus burger in an air fryer. It turns damn tasty, but bloody Denver. but. <laughs> If you have run down so much fat over all the damn air fryer. Yeah. Like a, a while back, I made I basically tried to make my own hamburgers by basically just throwing a, one of those uh, <clears throat> uh, meat uh, uh, meat packages uh, into the air fryer after just kneading and making circles and such. Uh, but those things bloated up like balloons. Oh yeah, they do. And also, something I learned that it probably made somewhat easier is don't uh, uh, don't throw them into air fryer with oil. Yeah, the whole thing with air fryer is that it can just... work without. But it it's useful enough, in some is, bits. The problem is when oil and fat mix, it just becomes more annoying to clean out. Yeah. yeah. Uh. So here's an annoying fun fact. Uh oh. My wash the my washing machine just died. Ew. Oh. Not only did it die, it died in such a way that, it, well, it was midway to being used. Uh, of course. Oh come on. So we had to take out like the clothes, so it was to put them up to like dry mm -hmm. off and. When draining the water, there's the, there's still like a hand of water still there, like five fingers, four to five fingers deep. Okay. So you gotta drain that and then call somebody to take the water out. Ooh, water? What am I talking about? Ta call someone to take the um the washing machine out, and then we have to go looking for a washing machine. Okay, so time for the uh, old-fashioned way for a bit, huh? Yeah. 
It, it actually reminds me of uh, something I saw, uh, I see online every so often. It's it's a reposted joke slash meme or such, but it it's basically about someone selling people, uh, let's see, eco-friendly uh, clothes dryers or such, and then when they act, then they actually just send them a clothesline. And people get I mean, mad because it just costs a few bucks. Yeah, that is true. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but it, it, technically, technically, it's not a scam. It's just it just catches idiots <laughs> who yeah, just it, don't it, pay attention. Well, it would depend on for how much they paid for it. Yeah, Twenty bucks or something. Uh, it's not too bad, I guess. But yeah, if if people were to actually pay attention to stuff, they would not, well, they, they wouldn't fall for stuff like that. But yeah. there's entire sections of uh, the economy, just globally, that just basically flourishes only because idiots. This is a sad thing. Oh, I was thinking of something, but what's it now? What was it again? Still attached. Hmm. I had something I wanted to share, and I have forgotten it. Okay. Uh, well, something I can say is that I bought uh, Hell Divers 2 recently, and yeah, I can definitely see why people find it fun. Yeah, he missed the movie, the, the series to watch the evening. We had a, she was supposed to have it yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> I also played some with Kisuke. It is, of course, the most fun when you have a full squad of people. Yeah. But yeah. It was still fun on, it, on just uh, solo and duo. Yeah. Oh, now I remember. It's actually a question to Rom. Yep. Yeah. Something I heard a YouTuber claim. Which I'm still skeptical about. So I want to ask you to see if you can confirm if this is a true thing or false. What? It, it, first of all, it is about Peru. Okay. Is it true that it is a common sight to see grannies go into taxis with llamas? No. <laughs> Thank goodness! Okay, that was unexpected. Yeah, like, I thought if you know if someone do it, fine. But they claimed that it was a common sight in Peru. And that part, I had the hard time as well. I thought, okay, people do that, fine. But common? <laughs> common, I had hard time to swallow there. Account credit applied. Okay, so, that, that feels like something to put in to see uh, who would fall for that. Yeah. Probably, or it was a joke. I would not be surprised if maybe it was common in, uh, many years ago, but nowadays I... Yeah, as Tom said, Ron said, I was called it Tom for some reason. <laughs> my name I, I I'm kind of glad that it's not common for... What the bloody hell? Uh, damn, have a damn llama in a taxi cab in an issue? <laughs> and yeah, yes, it was bits. in this context. And it was common to see uh, grannies bringing llamas into taxi cabs. At least they claimed. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, sounds like they were just full of it. Yeah, like no, it wasn't supposed yeah, to be this a place joke. Is full of debris. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to I'm fire. going to guess uh, just joke. Yeah, let's go with that. Um, I'm tired right now. I think I'm gonna call it for right for right now. I'll see you guys later. Okay, see ya. See ya, yeah. Roman. Thank you for joining. Yeah, see you next time. Later. Hopefully for Borderlands. Hopefully. <laughs> oh, hopefully, yeah. Okay. Well, enough, that, that I can't imagine stop imagining the traffic problems having a llama in the cab can cause. <laughs> Especially if it starts to get rowdy. 
Yeah, you don't want a, a llama to suddenly start spitting in your neck when driving. <laughs> like, sure, it might look like a fun thing to see in a movie, but... If it starts spitting at the driver at, on the highway... Yeah, again, it may look funny in a v movie, but when you look at it in a realistic manner, you realize what uh, can happen? It's no longer funny. Yeah. Oh yeah, I, I'm glad Rom confirmed that it was not common. <laughs> okay, just gotta wait for that to process. There we go, and... Yep, there we go. Milestone. And we have a new level. Now, there's still a, just a bunch of debris everywhere, but I'm not going to try and clean all of that up. Yeah. So I, I hope Rob did not feel offended for me if I ask if I again. I wanted to learn. I did not want to believe the information blindness. I wanted to ask him for confirmation, but it obviously feels rude when I ask someone about a culture to see if it's true or not. It's always As... a bit iffy. Yeah, though I wouldn't... <laughs> I'm not sure if it could be called a cultural thing, if it's just like taxi stuff, like taxi... bump the mic. Uh, there's there's probably just a subculture among the... Uh, with taxi stuff and such, but I don't think you could consider that a major part of a culture. Yeah. yeah. True. Okay. Let's see if we get another message from Lou. Hmm. Though it is good to hear that they're back with their dad, apparently. Oh, yeah. Hmm. And, well, <laughs> they are out of reach of links to fuck with at the moment. Oh, hello. Hello, Shipbreaker. You have this has got to be one. Weaver. Incoming transmission waiting. Cutter? Yep. <laughs> I see you. Uh gotten your free prize. Kai, you here? Yes, sir. Now, Kai, I owe you an apology. All of us up here just doing what we think's right at any given point in time. I'm sorry about everything. I know, kiddo, I know. You're good, Kai. So listen, we have before us an opportunity to do what's right by Lou and every other shipbreaker out there. And I can tell you, it ain't gonna be easy. This'll bring the wrath of Lynx down harder than a hippo in a hurricane. Honestly, I don't know how much worse things could get, unless Lynx wants to can all of us. And frankly, I could use the R&R. &R. The only thing we have to worry about in the short term is Hal, and I got plans for him, if everybody's on board, that is. Screw it. I'm on board. Kai? Yeah. yeah. Ooh, he's angry now. I want to do it. I want to make this right. Good on you, kid. <laughs> also, what's a <coughs> hippo? You can't be serious. <laughs> okay, okay. That just leaves you, Cutter. Start tomorrow. I'll arrange a certain ship to show up on your job board. It'll always be there. So when you're ready, claim it. We'll take that as our cue. Take your time and snag it when you're good and ready. Now, go on and get some rest, y'all. Weaver out. Okay, Lame. so we get to pick when we do that. Is it and I say we just go for that immediately. Sorry, we're talking over each other. Morning cutter 9346-52. What were you saying? Links would like to share the following inspirational uh, message. The greatest reward in life is the chance to work hard at work worth doing. Nope. Oh, spare tire goes through five spares of yourself. <laughs> Born uh, again cutter. Yeah, I wanted to make sure we didn't talk to over the next cutscene. <laughs> but yeah, I would say the way you phrased that. Did he get back our ship? Maybe. For it sounded Let's like see. Said, whenever I, I, he snag it, that's the the cue. And he said there was a spe special ship. Let's see. Nothing that really needs repairs. 
Let's see then. Hmm. Oop. Oh no, it's not our ship, but this is the one we're just going to completely and utterly wreck. And uh, let's see. Yeah, we have almost an hour, so shall we? As a wise Scotman once said, Allongez or something. I, I try to imitate David Tennant here from Doctor Who. Allongez. Bless you. <laughs> it's. I'm just noting here the calamity and the Mahoney. Okay. The calamity. <laughs> No, no, this is the calamity. Yeah. Are you ready to demolish the ship in the bay? Time to dismantle links. All right, folks. Yes. This is it. Whew. I'm ready. You good, Kai? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Remember, the whole point is to show them we control the profit. So, fail all them salvage goals. Trash them components. Really junk up the value of that ship, you hear? Oh, man. Apple's gonna be so pissed. I'll do what I can to manage that. Now, as soon as you step into the yard, I'm gonna lock out the ship clock. I'm also gonna patch in everyone's salvage meters so you can see how each other's doing. Ooh. I'm liable to get mighty vocal out there, but don't ease up. You got it, boss. I got your backs. Take your time. Be safe and let loose some wanton mayhem and destruction. We were out. Okay, we're we're gunning for the reactor. <laughs> okay. Well, about time. Y'all still better hit those quotas today. Huh? What's going on now with the shift clock? Al, we need to talk. Not now, Joseph. The crew and I have decided it's time to talk about the conditions of our employment. You what? Until you agree to stop treating us like trash and treating the salvage like trash. What are you doing? Just now, darling. Okay, yeah, we're just going to destroy as much as possible. Let's see if we can actually beat the others to it. Now, where is that reactor? Good work, Cutter. Might not feel right, but it's good work. Where is the thing? Uh, you... Uh, you, you. Uh, there we go. <laughs> okay. I'll just plant that Wait, there. I don't think that's the only one. And there should be only one reactor. I think I saw a second one. Ooh. Oh, we can... Okay, so we can destroy some... Or we can pluck things from some things without fully destroying them. But, uh... Yeah. But a buoy. Remember, Hal, we're just looking to talk. 
You make a call to arrange it. We'll get back to business. The only call I'm making is to loss prevention. You all are in serious, serious trouble. Ah, gonna be a big dent in the profit reports by the time they get here. <laughs> I swear, 52, if you destroy one more thing, I am sending you back Earthside. I'll, I'll send this ahead of me. This is the most efficient I've ever been. That's it! Penalties for all of you! <laughs> like, do you actually think we give a crap? Subordination. Improper use of equipment! Ten, no, twenty million credits! Oh yeah? That going on top of the millions we already owe? Yeah, sloppy cutting fee! 50,000 credits! Y using a right-handed tool in your left-hand fee! 600,000 credits! Uh, on Earth are you talking about? Sarcasm fee! <laughs> Come on, Hal. Informally addressing a superior fee! <laughs> Yeah, they, now he's reading that they have indeed been pulling out the bullshit claims uh, on the fees they put on us. Yep. <laughs> Kaido, what are you up to? You're still making them profit somehow. <laughs> DD Unless... is really going at it. <laughs> okay. Unless the, wait, maybe he's doing what you said, that he's throwing lots of chunks into the furnace and all that with both the good and wrong parts. It could be. But so let's see if we can just really just think this thing, this thing is called the Shippy Rogers. Oh dear. I wouldn't be surprised if he wanted to act normal at first, hence the yellow stuff. And then the chaos began. For oh, you see yourself, the red there is bigger than the yellow. Yeah. I'm just going to eat all of this out into space. And nothing is uh, going towards any of the processor or the furnace. Uh, I think you want to throw them into the wrong part. Yeah, if they get so, far uh, enough wanna... away, they also count as destroyed, I think. You think? We'll find out soon enough. Either way, it'll be a mess for them to, uh, to solve. Yeah, yeah, you're not in the lead, by the way, you know? Keep there. Yep, <laughs> one panel of profit. <laughs> okay, that goes there. Let's see, anything else for the bard somewhere around here? <laughs> I'll just chuck one in the cockpit. And <laughs> get intercepted. <laughs> Um, what's gonna happen when you detonate the hat? Something. More like that. No, not more like that. <laughs> some monitors, some electrics, some bio stuff. Boom, baby. <laughs> okay, it is just fun to see that red bar go up and up and up. Red Hill. Are there few tanks? Oh uh, yeah, we should blow up the engine as well. <laughs> okay. Yep. Intercept again. And the one, and the two, and the three, and the four, oop, five, um. six, seven. <laughs> uh, fuck it, fill this place up. Uh, uh, a away. A <laughs> yep. safe distance. Very far. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where's the list? So maybe we need them. <laughs> there we go. Yet, Hal. Joseph, what have you done? Very stupid 
different things are working. <laughs> you can hear him bashing at the buttons. Now here's something you forgot to block out, Joseph. <laughs> ah, beautiful. How, you stupid petty? Remember this, people. You don't have power here. You never will. Hang on, folks. Okay. <laughs> Are they still activating or okay? Oh well. Oh. Okay, now they're active again. Okay, let's see. Okay, that did have me worried there for a second that he was going to manage to screw with us after all. Okay. Processing. Yes, yes, yes. Are we gonna blame this on uh, Liz, by the way, since they are gremlin? <laughs> nope. <laughs> there. Okay. There has to be something else big and expensive somewhere to screw with. Mm -hmm. Oop. Ooh. Yep, oh, he, he keeps trying to fuck with us. <laughs> yeah, how about no? Go. And yeah, I'm pretty sure this co confirms that the, vo the voice we keep hearing is automated. Okay. <laughs> Didi is really putting her all into it. I thought we, we only knew that was automated. And we suspected, I think, but yeah, now it is just fully confirmed. Okay. Um. I Nothing that much has happened in Kato's side uh, for a while now. Hmm. There, cut that the hell and back. Hmm. Oh, well. Okay, apparently the radiation stuff fades over time or something. Because it. Oop. Here we go again. He just keeps trying and he keeps failing. Okay. Let's focus on some of these now. Okay. <laughs> Let me see. Let's just do some of this as well, just to get rid of some chunks. There we go. Oh, 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 damn it. I was to say, uh, yeah. aren't you standing close? <laughs> no, I was going too high with the cutter temperature. Okay. Go with this again. I wonder if there's an actual. Uh, oh, let it cool, let it cool. Wait, it doesn't Ooh, thermal count plates. Uh, these, these outer panels are. Oh. Here we go again. And I'll just do this. <laughs> nice try, fuckhead. Yes, do that. Let's see. Oh, I see something to blow up. 
Well, what's that you found? Uh, first off, that. And that. <laughs> the power generator. And so we're going to chuck one. these. Oop. There we go. Now it's not the it's not the reactor. It's the power generator for ele electrical stuff. All right, all right. <laughs> nope. Damn it, fifty-two! I can't believe how wrong I was about you. We're nothing alike. You're just a hooligan. Touching a nerve now, Cutter. Don't fret none. Keep going. <laughs> Go ahead and fix it again. I'm waiting with my finger on the button. Hal, let's be real. I know you think this is what you need to do. But is your position really any better? Does Link see you any different than the rest of us? You know the difference between you people and me? I know Link treats you like slaves. Hell, that's why they're the biggest in the solar system. I made it to the winning team. People like you trying to lift each other up. You're just letting others keep you down with them. For what? We own you. I got the right to do whatever I want to you. You were nothing until Lynx found you. Obedience is success. You've chosen to cross the company that gave you a chance. We'll drive you into the ground with debt. We'll give you work so dangerous you'll revive 20 times a day until your DNA comes apart at the seams. And when you come back as a useless, shivering blob, We'll make your family pick up the bill. Woo! I think we're done trying to reason with you, Al. And I still just crawled around to fuck with them, huh? Yeah, and... Um, here's the thing here, people. I think Weaver and the Rodas recorded what he had just said. Yep. That's right, Cutter. Doing good. And, yeah, with that, especially everyone recorded that, sends it to the government a lot of that. Hopefully. And especially Copacom's, uh, they probably will make it public. <laughs> yeah, let's see if... Links may not care what the people think about them, but once they once other companies realize oh dealing with these assholes is going to cost us stuff yeah then they might start to care a little bit oh no 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 hill no no hill this is probably gonna happen for the other companies as well but we have seen signs that the other companies have been behaving just as horrible yeah and if they see what we're doing everything. Basically, I think what we're doing here is going to spread, and they're going to go, uh oh. Oop. This can happen to us, as you said, but in a different manner. Not like, we don't work, work with them. More of, we probably should take better care of our employees, so this will happen to us as well. Uh, 52, you are well past redemption at this point. Like I give a crap. Ooh, something to blow up. Uh -oh. There we go. Also, these door consoles that were so fond of being so pricey yet so freaking tiny. Look that reflect. I know it ain't easy, but keep at it. What do you know, Joseph? Sitting in your box, barking orders, twisting their minds. That's the one also just sitting in a box, barking orders. Just destroying everything for the bards. <laughs> like you give a crap. Oh, I get it. This is so freaking liberating. I'm, I'm guessing this is why things were slow. Oh, you're through, all right. 
keep trying. You keep failing. Yeah, let's do, uh, start throwing some things into the wrong areas. Yeah, like these panels into the furnace. Uh, let's see, all of this is also mostly for the processor, so into the furnace it goes. <laughs> yeah, that, that actually go does more effect than just turning them into dust. Probably because you're not you're throwing the wrong things into the wrong area. This probably causes a lot of issues. Now it gets destroyed all the same. This way, it just do. That is going to the processor. Furnace. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure there's plenty of players who do this just for the amusement of it all as well. And I like that they put this in there. Maybe just. <laughs> Also, specifically for those players. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. I, mean, I think we are part of a, the beginning of an industrial revolution. And there. Again. <laughs> there. And there. Lady is still going to finish first from the looks of it, but oh well. <laughs> There. <laughs> bye bye. You can go after. <laughs> okay. Oop. Huh. Doesn't say where that's supposed to go. Oh well. There and there. Yes, do that. Oop. There. Oop. Oh, that's part st stuck. Oh, well. A tiny bit of profit for them. Tiny. <laughs> uh, let's see. I think we've blown up most of the big stuff. Oh, fuck off. Okay, let's just work on the paneling now. <laughs> I think we should introduce Hal to a certain uh, pirate called Boss about the definition of insanity. <laughs> Trying the same thing over it. We need to introduce uh, Hal to a certain pirate called Voss about the definition uh, of insanity, trying the same thing over and over and expecting different results. Ooh, hello. Pirate called Voss? Yeah, called Voss. Okay, called Far Cry, Far Cry 3, the whole thing with the definition of insanity, <laughs> repeating the same thing um. over and over and expecting different results. I haven't played it. No, I haven't watched yeah. anyone play it. I'd, I'd have thought you had at least heard of it. I haven't. Oh, uh, well. You? Now you can see why I, I had to double ask for I was very confused. You, can I? Uh... I feel like you could done many other yokes for the same effect, but you chose the one that actually flew over <laughs> my head. Okay, let's get rid of that. There we go. Keep on trying, keep on trying. Oh, that's a big chunk. Okay, I... <laughs> I think our character themselves are getting really frustrated with all the interruptions now. Let's see. Some more panels to remove. Morning. Fuel levels are low. <laughs> if they were if they were any smart, they would shut off the shop. But no, they can't resist making even a tiny bit of profit, even though we are using that <laughs> to destroy more. Okay. 
off you go. <laughs> okay. We are catching up now. Okay. There. There. Uh, is Kaya right? Nothing is happening in his end there. Okay. Odd. Oh, 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 has it moved a bit? I'm not sure. Let's see. All right, I was going to get some explosives so we can blow up the coolant tanks. Here we go again. And here I go again. <laughs> there. Uh, demo charges. Fuel. I'm good on tethers. Is there anything you can blew up in there? Yeah, the, that's, the, uh, no, 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 tanks. The uh, that's, that's a furnace. Yeah. You want to put it in the uh, processor. Yeah, yeah. Force of habit, almost. <laughs> there. Okay. Now, in we go. And uh, no. <laughs> okay, not burn, baby burn, but freeze. We are paying attention. Let's see. Some more cutting points up top. Get me out. Okay. Yeah, this feels like a good finale. <laughs> yeah, I, I get the feeling this might be the finale. <laughs> Which, if it is, will leave me plenty uh, satisfied with how it ended. Yeah. Okay. Let's actually burn what we can. Okay, we can't burn that, or at least not in its entirety. We could mute that uh, voice. Hmm. Oh dear. There we go. Another console gone. Oop. I'll take this for myself. Thank you very much. Let's see. Oop, here. Oop. Scattering, <laughs> clambering around like a gremlin. <laughs> this would be very proud. Yeah, I'm gonna wish we had uh, dragged them uh, for this one if we had knew this. <laughs> if we have only knew, uh, no. Yeah. Uh, I mean, is that even a word? New? Uh, don't think so. Uh, wait, mistakes, mistakes. Acting out of habit again. Okay. Oh, well. There we go. Oh, well. There. Yeah, we're, we're definitely not reaching that first point anyways. And yeah, we still have these here. And then okay. we're to try to just dump the rest into somewhere. 
And here we go. And there. I guess that we can do that. Uh, maybe basically just have the skeleton remaining. Yeah. Then just everything is going into the processor instead of the furnace because most of the skeleton inside is furnace. There we go. Send that there. Oop. Send you along. Valuable component destroyed. Bunk. Let's see, anything of specific value left? What's the green stuff there? Wait. Whoa, the, the, wait, the power generator didn't get cut? Okay, let's fix that. Why not just throw it into the... Because it's nicer to see it explode. That's off to you, Cutter. What a sad waste of your talent, 52. A negative attitude tips the scales of accomplishment toward failure. I, I, I've got the reactor. I'll, I'll throw it in the furnace. Uh, I, I'll let you agree to talk. <laughs> you know what? I finally figured out what you need, Kaido. To help you learn. What? what? The problem is this whole reviving thing. There's no cost to your mistakes. No, there's a cost. There's a big cost. Kaido, I'm taking back Lynx's gift. I'm removing you from the Everwork program. No, no, you can't do that. Actually, Joseph, I can. Kaido Kovechkin, your backup data is officially deleted. Uh, uh, how? What do we do? What do we do? Steady now, kiddo. Let go of that reactor and back away. Oh, I, if I let go, it'll go into the furnace. I'm too close. Okay, okay. Just hold back now. Real careful, like. You're letting your nerves get the better of you, Kaido. Like you always do. Weaver, I don't want to die. See? Real consequences. How? Quiet! Guy, you ain't gonna die. Now, how about you all just give this a rest and get back to work? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Kaido. Kaido. Rhodes, I'm going to throttle you. How, you stupid? That wasn't supposed to happen. How could you do this? That stupid kid wasn't supposed to go and kill himself. He's gone. You were supposed to stop! You were all supposed to stop this this stupid protest! Damn it! You idiot, Kaido! Hell, that boy's death is on you. Hold up. Great joke. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Hell, that was a mighty perilous thing to do. I, uh, how, uh, how could I know what would happen? We'll be back tomorrow asking for the same thing. A talk with your bosses. You talk to me. That's all you get. We're done here. Turn in, everyone. Y'all earned it. We were out. Okay, that actually got me there for a bit. Wait, this is the hibernation unit. Yeah, I'm, I'm just getting conf I think I might. I think I might have gotten confused about this earlier, about how why we're up there and not in the hab thing. Me, how is this me, thing wait. even connected to the rest? Like, we need to go it, out it, into a space. Yeah. It, it's a hibernation unit. I think it moves whenever someone is supposed to work. The unit will move into position. That could make so sense, yeah. So we are not yeah. working, it moves away. 
Yeah, that would make sense. Ooh. Hello, ship breaker. You have one incoming transmission waiting. <laughs> Let's have a look or listen. You really whooped them out there, Cutter. I'm proud of you. Hal overstepped, and he knows it. But we cornered that bobcat, and he lashed out. But you saw it. the terror in him. He was scared of us. And now that we got the ball rolling, other crews will follow suit. Oh, and don't worry about Kaido. He'll be out of commission until there's a new backup in place. Just gonna be another hit to the profit reports. Hal's only made himself look even worse. <laughs> And not just to Lynx. See, comms is recorded every shift. Standard Lynx procedure. Uh, it's possible today's recording has already made its way into the hands of someone who can share it with a wider audience. Because Lou's comms aren't restricted since he's outside. But I do know that tomorrow's feeling mighty hopeful. Um proud of this crew rest easy cutter we were out <laughs> i'll admit I, at, earlier on <laughs> in the game i was at the feeling that weaver was you know might have sold us out Kaido Kovechkin, your backup data is officially deleted the wheels of bureaucracy turn slowly and when you come back as a useless gibbering blob we'll make your family pick up the bill but Turns out you can grease them with a little bit of public controversy. Link scrambled to get some goons together. Of course, put us back in line. But the news was already all over it. Things happened fast. Even quicker than we'd hoped. The Stellar Commission actually stepped in. They deemed Link's Everwork program a human rights violation. The commission recognized the union and then forced Lynx to the table. And there really wasn't much Lynx could do at this point. We agreed to keep the Everwork program to continue protecting workers. The job's still dangerous after all. Yeah. But we demanded some major changes to the policies. First, full reversal of the huge fees forced onto the program's participants. Then, Ooh, that's nice. The removal of clauses like 19C. Their whole bag of tricks designed to strip us of our rights. Almost overnight, our humanity was restored. Lynx also ditched their swarm of administrators. They no longer served a purpose to the company. As for Hal Rhodes, Lynx couldn't ignore that he was at ground zero of our revolt. <laughs> He's right back at his old job. Processing. Real backbreaking work. Calicia Rai Paulson went untouched, of course. And everything on the administrators. Her and the rest of her family continue to operate and profit from Lynx. Some of us will continue to fight. Others, they're just happy to get back to work. Okay, that was good. Ooh. Negotiations with the Shipbreakers Union have resulted in some unexpected... Ooh. Unexpected changes to the Lynx Corporation Salvage Division. Oh, oh wait, that's basically... <laughs> okay. The best thing money can buy. Fully repay your debt. And now we're <laughs> now we're a millionaire. Then again, with inflation here. <laughs> uh, really? You're Display of fee <laughs> reversal reports? <laughs> $7.50? Oh, fuck off. Uh, then again, we could we probably just make as much just by taking a shit. <laughs> Below is a report on the reversal of certain charges to your account. Any discrepancies must be reported within 12 hours. Note, in order to ensure you are as informed as possible, all employees are encouraged to read the pros and big cons of unionizations information handout in our employee terminal. Uh, I think that was the <laughs> I think that was the toilet paper. Let's see. 
ever worked in a backup storage five uh yeah 500 million from that ever work equipment calibration 210 million biomaterial refrigeration 227 million and change uh, tracking implant fee yeah that thing uh then the extraction procedure nightly genetic backup times 35 oh wait uh, did we do this in, no we how, how many days did we do this 35 possibly yeah, probably yeah compensation for distress various 10k <laughs> okay get fucked links Again. Good morning, shift Oop. breaker. Your theta wave levels are high. Please administer two caffeine pods before starting your shift. Okay. Still some fees, but these are just absolutely minor compared to anything else. It, almost half of what we'd gotten everything down because we bought all of our equipment. Uh, let's see. Bailey, salvage transports, hab rent. Okay. Time is money, salvage. Uh, okay, I'm guessing that's. Him. <laughs> I have no idea what that number is supposed to be. Okay. Good morning, Oop. folks. Today's the day we finally get back to work, all proper like. And welcome back, Lou. Yeah, <laughs> welcome back. It's great to be back. And I'm ready to race. Anyone wanna? Come on, kid. You just got back. Whoa, whoa, why don't y'all play it safe today while you clear the cobwebs, all right? Whoa. Ah, maybe another time, Lou. Oh, but glad you're back. Kaido out. I, uh... I should go keep an eye on that kid. Well, I got a rusty old javelin with my name on it. See you out there. <laughs> okay. Hey, moment, Cutter. Oop couple things I gotta talk to you about. First off, go ahead, look out your viewport for me. Hey. <laughs> That's right. Finally got Beulah to impound. Took a fair amount of sweet talking and a touch of barring. Anywho, thought you'd be keen to get back at fixing the old girl up. Which brings me to my next point. Open up your employee terminal for me. Access that new option there. Contracts. Nope. New Mandy. Employees require a clear and simple breakdown of their contract status. Now, what I wanted you to see is you can also end your contract from here. However, there's two prerequisites to parting ways with the company. First, you gotta clear your debt. The new regs wiped out a ton, but some folks still got a bit of work to do to get in the green. Second, you need personal transport off station. That means old Beulah needs to be fully operational. Once those requirements are met, you can take the out. If you want, of course. If you're just as happy salvaging away, by all means, keep at it. Okay, close all that for now. I got one last thing I want to talk about. Okay, so we're not technically now, done this yet. This might come as a bit of a shock, but an opportunity's arisen for me, Earthside. One of them chances you gotta grab at for gets away. What I'm saying is, well, I'm retiring. Today, in fact. Trying to go out on a high note, as they say. DD's gonna run things while corporate figures out a replacement. Might not be as talkative as me, but she'll keep the rudder true. I wanted to wish you luck, Cutter. I'm glad we got the opportunity to work together. And who knows? Maybe you hear from me again sometime. <laughs> Weaver out. <laughs> okay, good luck, Weaver. Go uh, weave yourself a better life. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, so, yeah, if we finish the ship, we can... Officially ended. Let's see how far we can get with what we have. Because we got quite a bit. There. Okay. There. Not, we need a distributor. Okay. 
we only missing, after all this, we're missing one single thing. Actually, I th there's one more blip after this, I think. But yeah, we, <laughs> we could quote unquote officially end the game. Uh, yeah, next time. <laughs> yeah, do here's the thing, Hill. We definitely next time need the next game Back. prepared. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But yeah, I, I like this. They they were slowing things down for the final sprint. <laughs> and yeah, thirty five days. Huh. Oof. Holy. <laughs> And at the time we completed 21 ships. All right. Uh, that we're not going to do another thing because we have only 10 minutes left. But yeah, next week, most likely we finish this game and we still haven't cleaned that freaking smudge. <laughs> yeah, and <laughs> bunny character D. Okay, this world may still be a shithole, but at least there's a few bright lights burning. Yeah, hopefully heading in the right direction. Yeah. Okay. Uh, as for now, that is where we'll call it today, though. Yeah. <laughs> yes, we have games we'd gladly play four hours off, but this game is definitely not a four hour game. Yeah, it's a little bit much for that, so enjoy in moderation and as they say with everything. Okay, yeah. I'm, I'm just going to send a quick message to the friend who has already finished this. Uh, he will know what it means. Let's see. That was fun. Just everyone, <laughs> a dot after every uh, word and all of them capitalized. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but before we go end the stream, of course, we are going to look for someone to raid, and let's have a look. We have Dr. Misunderstood playing Final Fantasy X, Jackson Sam with L.A. Noir, Black Shadow playing Mimic Logic, can't say a word of that, uh, yeah, everything is muted, Shabu is the Moon Seal with Elden Ring, Moonrise with Jackbox. Redacted Cat is playing Tomb Raider 1. Profound Badness is playing Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. WBPL is playing Golden Sun. Kirina Shioko is playing Ocarina of Time. And last but not least, we have K9 with Dragon's Dogma 2. Okay, and Puffle Cakey has just gone online with Tekken 8. Okay, any of those sound interesting or should I take a pick? I will let you take a pick, because I know people, I know I've been letting them do it a lot. But sometimes I do get the uh, decision paralyzation and all that. Uh, let's see. This Mimic Logic seems to be a puzzle game of sorts. Basically, uh, I'm guessing it's it's like that uh, riddle with two statues or so, where you, you know, one of them always tells the truth, the other one always lies, and you need to figure out which uh, of them is which through some one single question. Uh, might be interesting, but a bit boring to raid in on. So let's go. Now, we raided Redacted Cat somewhat recently, I think. Let's go. Let's go visit Jackson Sam. See how how are they yeah, how they are doing with uh, Phelps. <laughs> okay. Copy name. And to our place slash raid and paste. But before we start, of course, thank you everyone who's watching now or later. Thank you, uh, Crazy Jess. Thank you, Sensei. Do we have any lurkers around? Uh, none with names, at least. So yeah, thank you as always, Drakir. Your mm. is always my friend, and thank you all for watching this madness. Yeah. Uh, hopefully tomorrow we'll be able to do... Uh, actually, yeah, maybe tomorrow we'll be able to do some uh, multiplayer stuff. We won't be able to do it early because I need to go to the uh, employment center or... I for, I, for, I don't know what the... Uh, what the exact English word is. Basically a company uh, that, yeah, that looks for work for me and such. Uh, but yeah, we'll see if we can do a stream of Borderlands. Uh, otherwise, it'll. Otherwise, we'll of course have a Sonic Rush on Tuesday and Thursday. 
And yeah, we'll finish this game next week. Yep. <laughs> okay, but for now, thank you all again for watching, and until next time, have a nice day, and until then. Peace, everyone. Sleep well, and watch out for space seagulls. And uh, if you meet hell, give him a kick. Ha, 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 ha.